Good morning everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for this good morning yoga routine. Today we're going to stretch, strengthen, awaken our muscles and set a positive tone for the day ahead using the affirmation, I embrace this day with gratitude. I am strong, balanced and ready for whatever comes my way. Okay, we shall begin. We're going to start in child's pose, so nice and relaxed, so just sit back on your heels, bring your forehead down to the mat, we're going to stretch the arms forward rather than have them down by our feet, so just relaxing here, just letting the arms relax, the shoulders relax. Okay, we're going to gently lift up into our tabletop. So get yourself in position, hips above your knees and shoulders above your wrists. We're going to go at cat cow, so tuck your chin, round your back, and then inhale to cow. So going back and forth with your breath. Just gently loosening up. Coming back to a neutral spine, we're going to tuck the toes and get into our dog walk. So lifting the heels one at a time, easing into the pose. Remember, draw your tummy in. Check your feet are hip width apart and then draw the heels downwards the hips up and back and your chest to your thighs for your downward dog. If you need to have a little bend in your knees, that's absolutely fine. Just adapt to how you feel. Be, be gentle with yourself. Be kind to yourself. And then we're just going to look forward and we're going to walk the feet up and come into a gentle forward bend. Again, you can bend your knees slightly. Just draw yourself in. You can straighten them if you feel up to it. Listen to your body always. And then we're going to roll up nice and slow. Inhale. Exhale back and bring those arms down. We're going to go into a chair pose now. So we're going to so slightly part the heels but keep the toes touching. And we're going to inhale the hands up. So we're going to draw the tailbone down. You have the knees touching. Take those heels, not the heels, the buttocks even down towards your heels. Just aiming there. You can have your hands in prayer, you can have them straight out, whatever. You can rest them on your thighs, whatever works for you. If it's easier, have them down. So listen to your body. And then slowly straighten up. Inhale the hands up. Exhale forward. So bend the knees, plant the hands, step back again into your dog walk and into your downward dog. So lift those hips, Just again draw that tummy in, Just lengthen through the arms. And we're going to inhale that right leg up, open the hips and then step that foot forward for low lunge. Going to let that left knee sink to the floor and inhale up, so reach up nice and tall, let the hips sink low and we're going to come into our prayer twist. So we're going to bring the hands down, turn to the right and bring that left elbow down onto your right knee, push the palms together and lift up so you're lifting your chest away from your thighs, that's it, lovely. Keep breathing in and out through the nose. And then slowly inhale back to your low lunge. Letting those hips sink low. 
Exhale down, take that right foot back. Same again, dog walk, we're gonna do it on the other side. So just paddling the feet, pressing into your dog, lifting your hips, inhaling to your dog lift. Open up the hips, bend that knee, lift left leg up, and then step it forward. Let the right knee sink to the floor. So again, let the hips sink low, feel the stretch up the front of that thigh. Inhale up for your low lunge on this side. And again, we're gonna do our prayer twist. So we're gonna to turn to the left, palms together, right elbow down onto your left knee. And again, pushing palms together, lifting your chest up as well. And not holding your breath. And slowly release, come back into your low lunge. Exhale down, we're gonna get back into our downward dog, just briefly, lifting those hips up and back. And then we're gonna come into our plank pose. So, shoulders above the wrist, heels drawing back nice and strong. Lovely strength building pose here. Remember not to hold your breath, hold that core nice and strong. And we'll do beginner side plank. So lower the left knee and pivot round. Right foot is flat, left, uh, right arm is reaching up directly on top so you're getting a nice alignment. Lovely strong wrists, shoulders here. That's it, keep breathing. And come down, we'll come back into our plank. Again, be focusing on that strength. Spread the fingers, draw the heels back, tummy pulled in, nice and strong. Right knee sinks to the floor for beginner side plank. Pivot round, left hand up this time. Chest open, keep breathing. Lovely strength building pose. And then lower down, back to your plank. So again, coming forward. And then just lower the knees and come into your up dog. And then back into your child's pose again. So stretching forward, stretch those arms. This time we're gonna take the hands down by our feet just to relax those shoulders from those planks. Have a little rest here. That's it. Just get your breath back. And then using your hands very slowly and gently, lift yourself back up. So we're gonna get ourselves again into downward dogs. We're gonna transition into a warrior sequence. So tabletop and downward dog. So nice little dog walk here. Downward dog, heels down, hips up, chest to the thighs. Okay, we're gonna step that left foot forward and pivot round and come into our warrior two. So the left knee is over the ankle, stretch those arms, back heel, back toes, I should say, pressing into the mat. So big stretch here. I'll take another big breath in and on the exhale go into reverse warrior back hand down front hand up reach up nice and tall big stretch big side body stretch that's it and inhale back so stretch those arms and then we'll go into side angle so your front forearm on top of your thigh and your right arm alongside your ear that's it, big stretch here. And slowly inhale back. 
Back to your warrior two. My lower the hands, we're gonna do the other side. So bring the left foot to face the front, turn the right foot out, knee over the ankle, and stretch out for your warrior two on this side. Big breath in. And another breath. Reverse warrior, use the breath. Reach up with that right hand. That's it. Keep breathing. Inhale back. Stretch those arms. Side angle, front forearm on top of your thigh, left arm alongside your ear. That's it, big side body stretch. Remember, keep everything aligned. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, elbow and wrist. Inhale back. Back to your warrior two, really stretch those arms. And then lower the arms and straighten that right leg. We're gonna get into our triangle pose now. So we're gonna keep the leg straight. We'll do the right side first. We're over this side. So walk that back foot in a little bit if you wish. Stretch out the arms. And we're gonna reach or shift the body over that right leg. As soon as you do that, you feel that stretch in the inner thigh. Let that hand come down to wherever is good for you. Reach up with your left hand. So opening your chest, it's a wonderful inner thigh stretch. Another one of my favorites. We're gonna trace a circle with that left hand. So it's great for your shoulder and your arms. That's it. And one more. Keep breathing. And then inhale as you slowly straighten up. Lower the hands, let's do the other side. Left foot out, triangle, stretch the arms, shift the body and let that left hand slide down again. Listen to your body, reach up with that right hand. Lovely inner thigh stretch and then trace that circle with your right arm. And another one. And then slowly inhale back up. Stretching those arms. Lower down. Bring both feet to face the front this time. We're gonna do a wide angled forward bend. Inhale those arms up. Come forward with a flat back and then fold down. Use the mat to bring yourself down. Grab the feet, ankles or whatever you can reach and just rock those hips from side to side. And then take your hands up and clasp them together into the yoga lock. So really stretching out across the chest, drawing the shoulder blades together. Take a breath here. And then release your hands, bring them to the mat, come up onto halfway lift, so flat back, and then inhale the rest of the way up, gentle back bend. Bring those hands down. Okay, we're just gonna get ourselves back down into our child's pose to finish. So we'll start at the top of the mat, we'll get into downward dog. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into your downward dog. Have a really good stretch here. Lift your hips, stretch through the arms, draw the hips up and back and then bring those knees down. We're gonna finish with wide legged child's pose. So we're gonna open the knees, big toes touching. We're gonna stretch those arms forward and sink down. Close your eyes. Just take a few nice deep breaths here.
Okay, so we're going to slowly walk those hands back. We're going to bring our knees back together and just bring yourself round <clears throat> into a comfortable seated position. Sit up nice and tall. We'll just finish with our cleansing breath. Inhale those hands up. So we're breathing in through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. <sighs> hands to your heart and namaste. And thank you so much for joining me for today's good morning yoga routine. Remember that affirmation, I embrace this day with gratitude. I'm strong, balanced and ready for whatever comes my way. I hope this has been really helpful to you and set a positive tone for your day. All that remains for me to say is have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.